we can get started. Uh, I'd like to welcome everybody to the November 16th meeting of Redevelopment Authority City of Coatesville. We did conduct an executive session prior to this meeting to discuss real estate and legal matters. Um, I'd like to call the, the meeting to order at this time, please. First thing on our agenda are our minutes from November 19th. Are there any questions, changes to those minutes? If not, could I have a motion? Make a motion to uh, approve the minutes. Thank you, Ricky. Could I get a second to that? That was Tyrone. Tyrone. Thank, thank you, Tyrone. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? We have some accounts payable, which Ruth Ann has prepared for us. And um, basically, you'll see there are two checks from Marino. Finally, we got the PennDOT money to pay $121,000, which was an invoice from May. Wow. Um, Baker bubbed up the, the signature papers to get the invoice to the RDA so the RDA could submit it to PennDOT and then PennDOT's dot grant system. If you recall, we just approved opening a new grant. This is one of the reasons because that, that old system, we were having all kinds of issues with it. Consequently, we had to pay Marino $3,316 in interest on that bill. That's why you see two checks. Um, we did, we, and, and you guys can hang me if you'd like. I, I happened to see Ricky that day we did it and he agreed that it was the right thing to do. Ruth Dan transferred some money out of our operating account into the train station account so that we could pay Marino everything rather than submit this 3,300 to PennDOT and be another three or four months before he got paid. Now, I'll submit the $3,300 invoice to Dot Grants and we'll get reimbursed. But I, I, I know I saw Ricky that day and, 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 and he, he agreed with me it was the right thing to do, so. Yes, I, I agree. I agree too. They waited that long for their money. I yep. agree. <laughs> Uh, That's and, the same thing know, I said. I mean, to he me. was upset, and this way he got all his money. We're, you yeah. know, we're good. We're, yeah, we're done now. Uh, Rightfully so. I'd have been mad too at a hundred some thousand. Uh, I've gotten mad for a lot less than that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would make a motion to approve the, the payables. I'll second. Thank you, Jack. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you, gentlemen. Um, <clears throat> we have additions, deletions, and modifications to our schedule tonight, to our agenda, I should say. Um, under new business, I would like to add letter B as in boy, which is uh, a notice to Coatesville Office Associates of default on the redevelopment agreement. I would also like to uh, add to new business C. Charlie, the extension of the competitive <laughs> community contract, that's Dave Shaketti's consulting agreement with us, that we extend that contract to year end or whatever your pleasure is. And letter D is in David under new business would be the extension of Econ Partners contract under the same terms as we currently have. So uh, there are the changes that I have this evening. Uh, Mr. Chairman? Yes, sir. If I uh, may just uh, do a little bit of housekeeping uh, for purposes of uh, the record uh, legal notice of tonight's redevelopment authority meeting was published in the daily local news on Wednesday, November 11th. Uh, Ruth Ann had also updated the redevelopment authority website to include uh, tonight's uh, information for the public meeting we posted on the RDA website. And due to Act 15 of 2020, uh, the change in state law allows for agencies such as the Redevelopment Authority 
to continue to have remote meetings during this COVID uh, pandemic. So that's all the legal notice housekeeping that I had, uh, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Kodumal. Uh, next thing we have is a presentation from uh, uh, Ms. Rashid Bell. Rashida. Okay. I'm sorry the name says Samaj. I'm using my son's Zoom. That's all. <laughs> Um, okay, so first I'm I'm a member of the community of Coatesville. I've been a member for about, I moved into the neighborhood about three years ago. And after moving here, you know, I decided to um, present myself and become a part of the redevelopment authority for the city of Coatesville because I see there's a lot of new businesses that are opening and I wanted to be a part of that being a permanent fixture. I have some background in cooking and I have my um, safe serve certification with um, the state and I was looking to open up a seafood restaurant called Crab Me Now. So Crab Me Now would be a, well, my idea was based around purchasing the lot at 730, 731 uh, East Lincoln Highway. Okay, my idea, I got plans drawn up for me to put an actual trailer on that lot it will be a um a custom made trailer that will not be used for mobile use it will be a permanent fixture set up through the the uh, pennsylvania water is it called yeah pennsylvania american water as well as the light and gas so i did contact the uh water company about um how to go about setting up new service as well as I presented my um, plans to the city of Coatesville, as well as um, an executive summary of what the business entails. So in doing that, I'm still waiting for a decision. Well, they, they said that they denied me. They did, zoning denied my plans. They didn't give me a reason why they denied me. I'm still waiting. And, and as a result of that, I'm refurbishing the way that I'm gonna plan to set up on this lot. So um, let me give you just a quick idea. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with the lot itself on 731. Okay, so it's an empty lot. So my basically, the I don't have any slideshows to show. I'm sorry, I'm coming straight from work. I do apologize not being, um, you know, prepared as I should. But I don't know if you can, I don't know if I can show this for you to see it, but I'm going to show it. I don't know if you can see it. But these are the plans, and they were submitted to the Redevelopment Authority. So this is how yep, it goes. Yep. Okay. Yep. So the, the trailer is positioned. Well, this is the trailer, but this is what I believe that the city denied because it of the mobile ordinance. This is my belief that they're denying it because of the mobile ordinance. They never sent me any paperwork saying why I was denied, and I've been waiting. I've, it's been more than thirty days. So in the interim of things, I'm going under the assumption that they denied me because of this trailer and the mobile ordinance. So I have um, come up with other plans to make this foreseeable a permanent fixture without actually building on the property as of right now. So I'm looking to do a prefabricated module of a kitchen, okay, and have that kitchen uh, delivered and and developed on that land and process water, sewer, electric, and gas through that particular module. All right, that is my plans. And to service the community just on um, takeout services, no dine-in. Due to COVID, we're trying to eliminate, you know, all of that. And I believe that my business can be a, a success, you know, during this time with takeout. Also to bring in, you know, um, jobs for the community, small part-time jobs for the community to assist with the economic value of our city. So I'm just basically waiting to hear from the city to see what is my next steps, how can I go forward with my plans to um, open up this great business called Crab Me Now and service you guys with some delicious seafood. So I'm great at cooking. I've been cooking for over 25 years. That's something that I'm passionate about. And I know it will bring a great, great feel for the, for the community. 
So um, I did speak with the water sewer service and to even tap in to get a water line is $4,000. Okay, they're wanting $4,000 just for a tap in fee. Mm -hmm. Then it, it goes further than that because I had to get some estimates and quote unquotes from plumbers to see how we can, um, you know, dig some line, the sewer lines to go into the business themselves. So I know that is a process that I have to work on. I contacted the electric company as well. And right now, the only thing they could give me is a, a activation fee, a setup fee. They couldn't give me any more than that because I haven't actually purchased the lot land and started to establish that business there. So um, again, I'm, I'm waiting on the city. To, to give me the go ahead to do what it is that I need to do. I have capital, you know, available. Um, I have also a loan that I've received through uh, Prospect Bank, which was previously Coatesville Bank, to um, pay for the property itself to allow me to have the income needed to start the business ahead of things that I need to start the business. You know, I also, you know, I also have other other um, avenues of loans that I can receive and grants. But I just, again, have to get the okay from the city in order for me to go do what I have to do so I can move forward with the business itself. So I'm just asking RDA if they can give me a little bit more time, you know, um, 60 days maybe, hopefully to try to get all of this resolved with the city and try to get things moving because I, I, I'm really, I'm really looking in a positive direction with this business. I believe it really would be a good asset to the community. So if I just want to be clear, Ms. Bell, what you'd like is a 60 day extension. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Yes. I have one question. <clears throat> sure. Are, are you, um, you're, you're familiar with the area and you have one that's trying to open up on seventh and chestnut. Does that concern you at any? No, it doesn't concern me because their menu is totally different from what I'm, what I'm, what, what my menu is. I did actually look them up. It's called Soul Seafood or something to that matter, and I did look them up. But their menu is totally separate from what it is that I'm, I will be servicing the community with. So no, I'm not concerned at all because my, I, I have a, a unique taste and a unique prep presentation for everything that I give. So no, I'm not concerned at all. Ms. Bell, have you did any data or research on your demographics in regards to the individuals that you will be uh, supplying the, this food to? So has yes, any I, research I'm been sorry. done on that? Because I looked at your menu uh, mm -hmm. and I'm looking at your menu. I'm looking at the prices. Just wondering if you have a picture of getting your most of your traffic, foot traffic, or do you plan on seeing individuals come into the city? to dine and get your takeout? How do you all, see that? I see all of the above. You know, after, you know, even walking the beat, I, I walked down Lincoln Highway, I spoke to the community and asked questions. And I also spoke with a couple business, something that they look forward to. So, I, and I know I can believe with social media, Facebook and word of mouth that the, the taste of the food will bring the, the the customers in. So you have quite a few businesses. You have the chess pin right across the street that can uh, purchase lunch. You have a couple of businesses down the street, big business, the bank. You have big businesses down the street that can that can um, also purchase from me. So I, I'm, I believe that, that it will be good for the community. I believe it will do well because it's something that they don't have and it's something that they are actually going out of the city to Coatesville to receive to get because it's not something that Coatesville offers. I understand. Do you have any data on that as to where, on your demographics as to where your main sales will come from was my question and I apologize so for not free. The main sales will come from the community. I don't have, you know, specific data. I just have what I've spoken with to the community. About. I don't have, you know, specific numbers from the community, but I have spoken to like I have, I have done the traffic on the, so I spoke to over a hundred people in the community and I have 
all of the names, people didn't want to give their names. So I spoke to over a hundred people in the community and this is, they were very excited and willing to make the purchases. You know, I gave them pricing and things. And again, seafood prices fluctuate. So, you know, they can be up today and down tomorrow, you know, so there's no set market price value for seafood until you go actually purchase it. I'd like to make a motion to grant a six month, I mean, a six, 60 day extension. T, before you do that, I have another question, my friend. Okay. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. Miss Bell, um, what do you see happening in the future? Is your plan to be brick and mortar at one point with this property or do you plan on keeping it a mobile trailer? Like take me a little bit five years from now, five year plan. What does that look like? Okay, so see, we're gonna take the equation out of mobile trailer because that's not what it is. It's a okay. trailer, it's not okay. mobile at all. Okay, but yes, my plan is to build on the property. I'm just trying to reduce as much overhead for myself and for the business and save as, save more money and make that happen within the next two to five years. That is my plan to build on the property and it is going to be permanently fixtured in the community. So yeah, that is my plan. Thank you very much, Ms. Bell. Any other oh, questions? Um, before we get to Tyrone, are there any citizens comments on agenda items? Uh, he, Nothing so, in the chat. Thank you. So we are to new business, and the first thing we have is uh, to consider uh, Miss Bell's 60-day extension for 731-733, and uh, Tyrone had already made a motion. Uh, I would make a second to that. All those in favor of the extension? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. So you got 60 days, Ms. Bell. Thank you. I appreciate it, guys. You won't, I won't disappoint you. Good luck to you. Good luck. I'm, I've been working hard, and I'm going to continue to work hard to make this successful. We can Good see luck. That. And it's, you, you all can get a plate on me. First. <laughs> <laughs> uh, letter B on our, our new business agenda, excuse me is the default notice to Coatesville Office Associates. Um, uh, Mr. Kumadal had explained that to us, uh, uh, Kodamal explained that to us earlier, that uh, Coatesville Associates is in, in, in violation of the redevelopment agreement. Um, they should have started construction by 2017, I believe. And uh, that did not happen. So uh, um, we, would, we, we have to authorize uh, Mr. Kodamal to uh, issue that uh, notice of default. If I may, Mr. Chairman, uh, what the board would be uh, asked to authorize tonight would be uh, a demand uh, uh, upon Coatesville Inn Associates and Coatesville Office Associates under, under the guarantee agreement that they delivered to the Redevelopment Authority uh, dated April 28, 2006. Uh, there would also be a uh, follow-up uh, notice that they had uh, failed to deliver uh, in response to the Redevelopment Authority's prior notice under the uh, easement agreement that was submitted to Coatesville Office Associates and uh, as well give them notice of default and an opportunity to cure under the redevelopment agreement as amended um, in connection with that uh, notice of default. It is uh, our understanding, apart from the construction um, uh, failure to uh, complete the office project in a timely manner, that there are uh, one or more uh, existing uh, defaults in um, mortgage and notes, which under the terms of the redevelopment agreement uh, are or will be uh, defaults on the part of the redeveloper. 
So for these, those reasons, uh, what the board is being asked uh, tonight is to authorize the solicitor to prepare the appropriate uh, notices uh, that the chairman would be signing. Could I get a motion on that or questions for Mr. Kodemal? No questions. I would like to make a motion. Thank you, Ricky. Could I get a I'll second? second that. I'll Thank second that, you, Joe. Joe. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you very much. See Charlie under new business is the extension of uh, the competitive community. That's uh, Dave Shaketti's consulting agreement with us. Um, and I would, uh, let's say, extending the contract through the end of the year, through December 31st. Yeah. Questions, motion? I'll make that motion. Thank I'll you, second. Jack. Thank you, Tyrone. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? You're muted, Ricky. I'm in favor. I right, thank you. Uh, letter D is in David under our new business is the extension of the econ partners uh, contract. You know, they're, they're the ones trying to get the grant money for us for the garage up there. Um, uh, the only stipulation is we, we do not have a letter from them. So I would, I would stipulate that if, if your pleasure is to extend that contract, that it be conditioned upon being under the same terms as, as we've been working with them in the past. Question? I'll make that motion as long as it's restricted to the same terms that it's now. Thank you, that's an extension as well, under the same terms. Exactly. Yes, sir. A second. I'll second. Thank you, Jack. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, citizens comments, Sonny, anything? No, sir. Okay. Our next meeting is scheduled for December 21st, 2020. Uh, and uh, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. <laughs> Thank you, Tyrone. <laughs> Thank you everyone for taking the time to join us this evening. And uh, let's keep the city moving forward. Sounds Happy good. Thanksgiving. Thank Same you. To everyone. Everyone. Take care. Same to everyone. Yes. Take Happy care. Good night, everyone.